Hey guys, crew blind way back. I'm Shane. Eric. So, guys, we're back here with Chuck. We are. Yes, we are. We're getting into uh, we're getting into some stuff, Eric. So, what do you think happened last time? I think Jill is a fulcrum agent, Shane. That's what I think. I oh, always I, knew it. I didn't know she was fulcrum. The only way you know that is I've seen at the end, though. Yeah, I couldn't have thought <laughs> before. <laughs> Um, when I watched this years ago, mm -hmm. I uh, I suspected that, but I, I started not suspecting it as time went on, actually. Yeah. But yeah, she is. Um, we had that epic scene at the end where they're running out to uh, Frighten Rabbit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Frighten Rabbit. Um, and, but Jill, but Chuck left his watch behind. He did. Yeah, and so we're kind of in the middle of a storyline right now. We are. It's, it's like the first real like two-parter, I think, maybe. I don't know. You're wrong. I'm wrong? Yes. The three-part? No, there's been other two parters. Has there been two parters? <laughs> what two parters before? I'm trying to think. I don't know. Not like the bit. This is like in the middle of a season, right? I don't know. This is in the middle of a season. You are right about yeah. that. Yeah. Um, so they have to track down Chuck. He's obviously in danger. Or is he? Do you, I mean, do you think just because she's a fulcrum agent that he's in danger? Yeah. You think so? He's the intercept. You think it's the that fulcrum black wants the intercept. You think it's that black and white? What, what, what are her motivations, though? I think that regardless of how she cares about him, she'll do her job just like... Uh, just like fucking the other girl. Sarah? Sarah. <laughs> Johan Strahovski. Yes. She's supposed to do that, even though I think originally, eventually, she won't. But Well, we already showed her step over the line a couple times for yeah. Chuck. Mm -hmm. Like, not shoot him when yeah. Casey's like, shoot him, shoot her! Casey um, had that high C, too. It was good. Yeah, he did. What's that smell? What is that? This is, taste. it's it's a, it's a pre- and post-workout supplement. It smells just, like just, Fruit Loops. Just taste it. It's, it tastes good. Does it smell like Fruit Loops? It's watermelon flavored. Just taste it. <sighs> Tastes like Fruit Loops. It's good, isn't it? Something. This is this is like creatine and branched amino acids. Yeah. Like it's just fucking good. I can take a little. Holy shit! I can shit. It. Holy shit! Let's watch oh this episode. My God. Oh wow! Chuck, look at this music. This is from it's a while amazing. ago, isn't it? It looks like it. Fulcrum's working in Mobile about now. It's not going to last an hour. No, you're wrong. They don't know Chuck's the intersect, and they don't know Jill has been burned. They don't know that he's the intersect? It ain't torture. What are they doing to him? We have ways to make you talk, Mr. Bartkowski. Mm. Jill's phone, you know. Jill. Don't do that. Your phone's buzzing. What? Watch! <laughs> no, have you watched our reactions? Yes! They're so funny when he does it. I know. Look, she's not a spy and she has no fulcrum code name. The code name? Wait, 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 don't say it. Don't say it. Sandstorm. Oh my god. Jill's a spy. General, Chuck is not ready for this type of mission. He could barely handle a goodbye with Jill, and she's going to see right through him. This is our best opportunity to infiltrate Fulcrum. But if you don't think he's ready... I'll do it. Big Mike. <laughs> he could be a spy. I'm down here by now. Me twice. You bet I'll do it. Oh, snap. Yeah, fuck her! Unless you shouldn't. But I don't know. What's that smell? Uh, probably Ellie. She's doing some practice cooking for tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So that smell is... <laughs> they all have to wait. No! No! No, 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 no. You make sandwiches. I know. For that to work, you have to, they have to wait the same. We need to talk. That's fine. But please just don't hurt another turkey like that. How is she going to do that? When you're most exposed. Emotionally exposed. Like uh, an intimate moment. Say, a kiss. Okay, imagine that I am chill. The moment is romantic. She's close to you. She's looking into your eyes. And just before your lips are about to meet, close your eyes. Okay, good. Good, you're all set. Huh? Oh, yeah, good. Hey. I'm sorry, Chuck. Dude, Tommy, we're stuck there. You can't get out. You have to wait and I have to disembark with the gun. You know? I mean, how do I, how do I know I can trust you? How do I know you're not just gonna take me to the parking lot to do something you said you wouldn't? Oh no. 
was him. Where? Him. Him who? That's a bad looking man. Jesus. That's a bad looking motherfucker, isn't it? Did you, did you just say? Let's talk about this first. Can we actually just leave if we are? Oh, this is a test, child. Do it now. Too late. Ah. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just... Punch this woman in a carnival. Oh, I love this thing. Like, how do you look like that and not become like a laborer and then you just decide to become an actor? <laughs> you know? so good. Some Why would they start it? That's strangely considerate of you. Oh my god. Touching you die. Jeez. I always love this thing. <laughs> so funny. Is it good that violently? <laughs> it knocked him out! He had his head on a bar, though. Uh. I'd stomp on his throat. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't hurt her! She saved my life! That's... I don't, I don't, don't know if it's not a ploy to get trust, you know? Oh shit. Look at that shirt. Is this a trap? No. Mm, okay. Sarah, what about Jill? Sarah did this too once. Lied. She's doing for her country. We don't really know what Falcon wants. Morgan, we can't leave. What if I could bring her back here? A turkey? No, not 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 like this. A real turkey. He's so innocent. Look at him. Did he make it? Oh, ah! Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Babe, I got some news. What? My parents can't make it. <laughs> you don't do that on Thanksgiving. Emotions right now, Devin. Yeah, I understand. I completely understand. I mean, you've been so stressed out with this whole thing, and you know, with our new boss at work, and this Chuck and Jill thing is like. What Chuck and Jill thing? Hmm? What Jill thing? I didn't say anything about. I didn't. You tell me. Just grab his face. Absolutely, I will. Look at these evil fulcrum doctors. Oh shit. Doctor Gunn, right beside him. This one on the table is mine. Do you think that when this is all over, we could try again? Get me out of these. <sighs> she could be trained against this. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yes. Ha! Damn it. Did you not see that? Did you not hear it? We have a leader. Sorry, Chuck. I mean, sorry. Man, you need to some moves or something. You're always in this situation. The Jackie Chan thing. <laughs> what about my friends? Just do what he says. How could you do this, Jill? Chuck, it's complicated. <laughs> Listen. I hope we can do something like program to drop a sandbag on him or something. Hey, Chuck. Like Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, what are you doing? It's a castle manual. I told you that's top secret. Yeah, I know. So am I. All right. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Bartowski. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Damn it. Have him on the other side of the room. Protect themselves. Now show me the way out of here. Jill, if you hurt him. That fucking pisses me off, bro. <laughs> it's a message from Chuck. Wait up. I also unlocked your door. 
take me to buy more. Unleash the Casey. <laughs> Unleash Casey! Oh no, the wire. Yes, Jeff! Unleash! Where's she going? Sarah. You thought you were gonna take me down. No, baby. I am Big Mike! Oh my god, he's rushing the man with a gun! Yes! <laughs> Recruit Big Mike. Grimes put you in charge. Yeah. Smart boy. Holy shit, that was What's amazing. What's going on? What are we doing? Look, obviously, there's the whole opposites attract to chemistry thing that we have, and I, I it's just, there, there's, there's one small problem. He's locking her in. Chuck. Yes, Chuck. Ah, oh, Bertowski. I was gonna let you get away. When you were about to kill Sarah, you made the decision for me. You're under arrest, Jill. I wanna fuck Break him, man, that's so amazing. Chuck's the most perfect man. I need his heart and Big Mike's strength. We'll find the perfect being. I know. Oh, that was good. Hell yeah. Sarah will remember that. You know what we need here? What? Thanks for the miracle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Chuck and Sarah are going to walk their door. They're going to be as happy as can be, and everything's going to be fine. <laughs> well, Chuck, we're good. Hi. Mm. Could they ask for anything? Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you think of the episode? Start with the 2002 flashback on the Ferris wheel. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so glad that Chuck didn't let her go at the end. I was like, like, yeah, I get it, I guess, but he's a fucking idiot, but. He didn't. He got her. He got me. He got everybody. Well, he was gonna let her go, and then she saw. She threatened. Yeah. Yeah. She was gonna kill Sarah. Yeah. I still wouldn't have trusted her, even though after all that stuff. Like, even if there's some morsel of truth, she has not earned that trust back. I, I, at that point, I mean, until she was gonna kill Sarah, I think he was just like, you know, I don't love you. I don't want to be with you. But I don't want to see you go to prison. Yeah. Because I just have these, these weird. I have these mixed emotions about you, but I don't. It's just go. You know, be free, you don't go to prison, just don't talk to me anymore. I think that's yeah. kind of what he was going for, you know? I mean, she's a fulcrum agent. Yeah, it's, it appears that, you know, they recruit these college kids, and you're kind of under their thumb, though. I yeah, that's what the CIA does. Uh, yeah, well, in this, yeah. But, I mean, so, but it seems like it was like, do what we say or we'll kill you type thing. You know, I paid for all your shit, I can take it away. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it looks, it, it definitely seemed like Jill was distressed. Like, he, she didn't want to do these things. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But she did I, do I them. To... She did do them. She did do them. Yes. She did do them. Yeah. I don't know. I. There's just something about whether it's just the insertion of her into the story, or I don't, it's not. It's not like you know, necessarily the writing or the acting. It's like you know, like I feel like this can only go a couple different ways. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when it comes to like trying to predict the, the character. Not that I should be doing that all the time, but it's it's hard for me not to be like, no, nope, something's up, something, something's up, something's up. Yeah. And then it felt like it was going one way with Chuck, and then he flipped it on his head, hit that button. Surprised you, didn't Surprised he? me. What a great spy car. Oh, so happy. I was so happy. Yeah. Yeah. So happy. So you think it's the last we'll see of Jill, though? No, definitely not. Really? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see it again at some point. I'm not sure when, but we'll see it again. What do you think this does for, you know, Chuck's, his, his, uh, his faith in people, you know? I mean, he has a lot of faith in people, but that can also mean he has too much faith in people. He just needs to be more, I mean, with, with how valuable he, has, he is, with the intersect he has in his head, he needs to be more skeptical of people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I just wish I could have met the awesomes. Well, I will say that you will. I bet. Yeah. Just not this episode. Yeah. I am glad, though, that uh, everything that they were, this, the second storyline of them guarding the buy more. Yeah. So, I, I really like the storyline of Big Mike coming. Sure. That was amazing. I was like, the man has a gun. Yeah. And Big Mike, like, he had to have seen the gun, right? Like, yeah. I thought he was a thief, but he, 
he tackled charged from that his... man with no cowardice. It's it was just pure bravery. It's all the big and husky guys. I and guess. Hey, he said, yeah, he, he, he worked at Husky Lad, big and tall. Yeah. Where there was more. He, were, he, he was there for more than the average man. Yep. And he was, you know? Yep. He hit that guy so hard, he went flying back. It was so funny. And the second time, he's probably got a con- concussion in yeah. 24 hours. That's like not very good. Leader. Yeah. yeah, he's a mean-looking motherfucker. He is a he? mean-looking guy. Yeah. You don't um, cast that guy as, like, you know, the everyday dad, you know? Yeah. Um, also, there's a storyline of Morgan not being invited to Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm glad that Ellie... Yeah, I, I'm glad that Ellie and her him have this kind of weird friendship. Yeah, I mean, she's still... I mean, it's still kind of shitty because she's embarrassed of him. I mean, she doesn't want her the parents to see that she has that kind of guy around. I think it's one of those things is, like, just have family. Yeah, yeah I mean... Maybe. I don't know. Because Chuck was going to get, have her not do that. You know? Like, I don't think that was... I think she was just trying to hide all of the things that she doesn't see as perfect. Yeah. Yeah. You know? and, and it is shitty, but I think yeah. she woke up. It's, I mean, it's shitty, but it's not like Jill level shitty. Oh, no. Fuck no. no. Um, get, what else I mean, if I was lost, I'd be like, hey, you know, either he's here or he's not. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'll like, do that. Yeah, no, I get you. But yeah, she, uh, for, Fulcrum basically forced her to dump Chuck. Mm-hmm. Um, she didn't sleep with Bryce. Yeah. Which we had to assume is the truth. Yeah, yeah. Um, all that is the truth because, I mean, at the very least, the thing found that she was lying about the last part. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that all makes sense. Kind of a shitty way to end it, though. You know? I don't know. Yeah. It's like, uh, you have to end it. You don't You didn't have to say that you slept with your best friend. You know? Yeah, I think that... And what, did Bryce just... Is there, a way, is there a way to... Less pain, yeah. You know, to get what you want with the least amount of causing damage to to Chuck. Mm-hmm. But no, that that was all the truth um, in terms of Bryce going along with it. Like, did yeah, like like did she do that because she knew Bryce was involved with that kind of stuff? Like, did it purposely? I mean, that ruined their friendship. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously, also Bryce turning him in for yeah cheating that didn't happen but that I, thing I, also compounded did Bryce know that that happened did he have any idea what was going well, on if, if it happened was I, he just like yeah sure you know yeah, I, at that point he just wanted Chuck out of there yeah. and if that happened it might have been like a I can't remember the, the, the Greek word for it but like a basically a blessing I guess so yeah, like a happy little you uh, figure he'd be like why the hell would you do that yeah uh, yeah I mean he because it, it would further reinforce yeah. it, it would further solidify his own plan to make to distance Chuck from all of yeah. that you know but then he also got tricked by Fulcrum later too. Yeah. So yeah, uh, leader has been captured. Uh, yeah, leader. Ha- leader is down. Yeah. For this sect, um, Jill is Jill has been caught. Arrested as well. Um, yes. Yeah. Chuck learned another lesson again. But I'm left with so many questions. Yeah. Like who is Lady Big Mike? What is she like? Well, we know that. We'll see that eventually. I want to see Lady Big yeah. Mike. And. Uh, yeah, so, uh, anything else? No, I just... You have so many questions. <laughs> I, I, I have questions. I mean, I don't, I don't know where we go from here. It feels like this is kind of like like an arc that's kind of wrapped up. Maybe we'll move on to the next thing. I mean, the Jill thing can still be there. Yeah. But I don't know if that'll be the focus going forward, so... Yeah, we'll it, well, what do you think about him and Sarah's relationship now? Um, I mean, I think she definitely heard when he said, like, you know, I was going to let you go until you threatened Sarah, and... And that's more important. Yeah, is the thing left unsaid. So we think a fucking thing where she was that little. I mean, that's the kind of shit you say that you hope, you pray that she heard it. Exactly. <laughs> you know, you say it twice. Yeah. <laughs> and also, we had that moment where they were in the underground base, and mm. she was talking to Chuck about the intimate moment with him and Jill. Yeah. A fake kiss, bullshit. It's a little. I mean, she has some. It's that's, funny. That's but bullshit. It's, it's, it's yeah. a little silly. I'd just be like, you playing with this? Come boy. on, come don't, on. Don't now. play with him. Yeah, don't you do know? that. If you don't play with him, play with him. Yeah, play with wiener. Yeah. Um, other than that, that's all I got, man. I, you're, it's, you know, that was kind of the end of a tiny little arc there, but yep. there might be more to it later. Big Mike MVP. Yep. Guys, thank you so much for watching Chuck with me and Eric. If you want to see the next episode, you can by going to patreon.com slash blindwave. Make sure while you're there also, you check out the full length version of this and all the things that we do. Go to blindwave.net, check out our store, our merch, and find the information about WaveCon 2019, August in Marion, Ohio. WaveCon? Yes.